Welcome to the AIM Learn Fast e-training series presented by AIM Sports, providing support and training of your AIM Sports products when and where you want it. This AIM Sports Learn Fast training module is GPS Lap Insert in Race Studio 2. The use of a GPS sensor with AIM Sports data acquisition hardware is very popular. However, occasionally we might forget to upload the GPS coordinates of the start finish line and we can end up with a long session like shown here without the data being separated into individual laps. This makes data analysis very inconvenient. Other times we may have got our lap times but we decide later we want to change the location of the start finish line and recalculate the GPS based lap times. Race Studio 2 has a very quick and easy solution to this situation and it is called the GPS lap insert function. Let's take a look at the four different ways you can compute or recompute GPS lap times. To start the process we need to have a test open like we do here and then click on the lap manager tab. Here we can see that we have six sections of data identified as lap times here. But really, this is the data from several warm-up sessions, the actual race, and then a few more short sessions, but none of these were created from the start-finish line coordinates. The lap cause indicator is showing that for the first three sessions, they were triggered to end by a vehicle stop. This is where the data logger remained on, but the logger stopped seeing either one of the two things it needs to continue recording, RPM or speed. For the final three sessions, we can see a lap cause indicator of logger off. This means that the session was stopped or terminated when the data logger was turned off. By looking at the lap times, we can see that the lap 3-1 was very long, a little over 51 minutes and 41 seconds, and was our actual full length race and needs lap times computed. To do this, we need to click on the GPS lap insert button. This opens the set lap beacon for test window. Here we are giving four different methods for setting a new GPS position to compute or recompute lap times. Let's talk about each of the four methods and just some of the reasons you may want to use each while showing you how to use them. The first option is to use start finish line coordinates from the GPS track database. This database is available for you if you have downloaded and installed the GPS manager software from the AIM Sports website or installed it from the CD that came with your data system. To start this option, first click on the radio button. The software will then show you the tracks in the GPS track database that are nearby, all based on GPS location data. In this example, the data is from the Homestead Miami Speedway, and the GPS track database has two different tracks in this area. One is a cart track, and the other is the Homestead Miami Speedway road race course. So the next step is to select the Homestead Miami track from the list. And then click on the Confirm Selection button. Now that we have selected the track, click on the Continue button. The software then computes the new lap times based on our selection, and the Confirm Lap Times window opens. This will give you the opportunity to take a look at the computed times. You can cancel the process at this time by clicking on the Cancel button if things do not look correct, but in this case everything looks good. So we will click on the Confirm button. And the software will let you know that the new lap times were successfully calculated. To acknowledge this, click on the OK button. Right away we can see in the Test Laps toolbar that the data now has lap times generated. By default, the fastest lap is selected and shown in the Measures Graph window, and we can now do some detailed data analysis. But as we showed earlier, there are three other options in the GPS Lap Insert function, and to take a detailed look at those, we need to select the Lap Manager tab. But first, let's take a look at the lap times and the lap cause we just computed. Here are the lap times, and they look good, and here is the lap cause. Remember earlier that we only had a vehicle stop, and logger off as the lap cause, but now we can see the actual lap times now have a lap cause of GPS lap managed, or we could if we widened the column. Let's say that you like these new computed lap times based on the GPS track database start finish line location, but you are interested in what the lap times would be if the start finish line was a little further down the track. To do this, click on the GPS lap insert button. This again opens the set lap beacon for test window. To set a new start finish line at any point on the track by simply clicking on the map, select the Set Start Finish with Cursor Position radio button. With this option selected, you can now click on the map where you want your new start finish line, 
and where the software will compute your new lap times. And then click on the Continue button. The software then computes the new lap times based on our selection, and the Confirm Lap Times window opens. This will give you the opportunity to take a look at the computed times. You can cancel the process at this time by clicking on the Cancel button if things do not look correct, but in this case everything looks good. So we will click on the Confirm button. And the software will let you know that the new lap times were successfully calculated. To acknowledge this, click on the OK button. And the software returns us back to our measures graph and is showing the data with our new start finish line location and we can now do some detailed data analysis based on this modified data. But as we showed earlier, there are still two other options in the GPS lap insert function we have not discussed. And to take a detailed look at those, we need to select the lap manager tab. And then click on the GPS lap insert button. This again opens the set lap beacon for test window. You may have a set of GPS coordinates that you gathered from Google Earth or another racer. To input and use these coordinates for a start finish line position, we will use the third option and select the set start finish line manually radio button. Our first step with this option is to select the latitude text box and type in the latitude value. Next we need to select the longitude text box and type in the longitude value. Once we have these values plugged in and double checked, we need to click on the continue button. The software then computes the new lap times based on our selection and the confirm lap times window opens. This will give you the opportunity to take a look at the computed times. You can cancel the process at this time by clicking on the cancel button if things do not look correct, but in this case everything looks good. So we will click on the confirm button and the software will let you know that the new lap times were successfully calculated. To acknowledge this, click on the OK button. And the software returns us back to our measures graph and is showing the data with our new start finish line location and we can now do some detailed data analysis based on this modified data. But as we showed earlier, there is still one other option in the GPS lap insert function we have not discussed. And to take a detailed look at it, we need to select the lap manager tab and then click on the GPS lap insert button. This again opens the set lap beacon for test window. The fourth and final option in the GPS lap insert function is to select a start finish line by referencing a previous test. This is especially useful if you are comparing data from another session when that data may have used a different start finish line location from what you did. To start this final option, select the set start finish by referencing a previous test radio button. This opens the Select Source for Beacon by Reference Test window. A quick tip here, if you use the Use Selection Criteria Test Filtering function available in the Test Database area of Ray Studio 2 Analysis Software, this window will only show the sessions that have been filtered. If you do not use the Use Selection Criteria function, all of the test sessions in your database will be shown here. I have used this filtering function, so I am only shown the tests that I want. So we need to select the Homestead Thursday Practice 2 test. And then click on the Confirm Selection button. Once that test has been referenced, click on the Continue button. The software then computes the new lap times based on our selection, and the Confirm Lap Times window opens. This will give you the opportunity to take a look at the computed times. You can cancel the process at this time by clicking on the Cancel button if things do not look correct, but in this case everything looks good. So we will click on the Confirm button. And the software will let you know that the new lap times were successfully calculated. To acknowledge this, click on the OK button. And the software returns us back to our measures graph and is showing the data with our new start finish line location. We can now do some detailed data analysis based on this modified data. This completes the GPS lap insert learn fast training video. As you can see, the GPS lap insert function is a very powerful and easy feature to use in the Race Studio 2 software. For more AIM Sports Learn Fast eTraining content and information about upcoming on site training seminars, visit www.aimsports.com forward slash support, your source for support and training of AIM Sports products when and where you want it.